Now let's learn more about the search modes of force. Boost mode. The device will initially start in this mode. Developed for use in gold fields, this mode minimizes the effects of hot rocks. It is the two-tone discrimination mode and it is deeper than discrimination three mode. The device will produce a low tone for iron and ferrous metals. For all other metals, it will produce a single tone just like in the general search mode, which increases in pitch as the coil approaches the target. ID masking is available in this mode. The ID masking default value is set to 10, so positive or negative hot rocks will be ignored in this mode. Now let's see how ID masking works. Right now, we are getting a target ID of 20 from a ferrous metal. So we set the ID mask to 20. As you currently see in the video, the device is no longer producing a warning tone for the metal. As mentioned before, at ID masking value 10, positive or negative hot rocks will be ignored. You must ground balance for ID masking to perform correctly. When using this mode, if you record the IDs of the rocks in the field and then mask them using the ID masking feature, you can detect gold nuggets under or near stones deeper and more easily. Your search field may contain iron ore rocks. To eliminate the effect of these rocks, you may need to increase the ID mask value. Discrimination 3. This is the three-tone discrimination mode. The device will emit a low grunt tone for iron and ferrous metals. A low tone for gold and foil. And a high tone for non-ferrous metals such as silver, brass, and copper. ID masking is available in this mode. If you want, you can use the ID masking to ignore unwanted targets. Now let's see how ID masking works once again. Right now we are getting a target ID of 20 from a ferrous metal. When we set the ID mask to 20, the device will ignore this metal. As you currently see in the video, the device is no longer producing a warning tone for the metal. The ID masking default value is set to 10, so positive or negative hot rocks will be ignored in this mode. This mode is ideal to use in fields with trash or different types of metals, enabling you to search faster with audio discrimination.
General Search Mode, sometimes referred to as the All Metal Mode. This is the deepest mode of the device. Different than the other modes, this mode has a constant threshold sound in the background. The loudness of this sound directly impacts the detection depth and it is adjusted by the threshold setting. In the general search mode, the device will detect all targets, metal, high mineralized rocks, etc., without discrimination. The ID of the detected target will be displayed on the screen and the device will emit the same tone for all targets. The audio warning tone will increase in pitch as the coil approaches the target. Positive hot rocks sound just like metals and tend to give a short zip-zip sound. In general, their target IDs will range between 1 and 5. Negative hot rocks, on the other hand, tend to give a longer boing sound. The device will not give an ID for these rocks regardless of the signal strength or will rarely give an ID between 95 and 99. ID masking is not available in this mode, so it is disabled in the menu.